Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 24th February 2019. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how it may help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the About menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to trade them in the market's direction. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market bread and technical analysis of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning our trades with the market strength, we like to align them with the industry strength as well. We'll study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may review some of the trade examples from our traders forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop template and daily hop on template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps you decide whether there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, after displaying the bullish headwind, oil is continuing to go up. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily chart, price is going up with higher highs and higher lows. Price is supported by the memory trendline support. When we had the cyan color candle on this day, that signaled a possible go with flow trend following long trade setup. However, that daily candle had a long upper tail. Looking at that, instead of entering the trade at market close on that day, you might enter the long position next day using. Q intraday fine tune chart. From that time, price has gone up and you could probably book partial profit on last Friday. At present, price is already several days away from the go with flow long trade setup and it is close to the upper boundary line. Therefore, you might not take a long trade in US oil right now. Gold ETF GLD. Gold is also in an uptrend. This week gold opened with a gap up. However, it ended the week with a mixed shape candle. It closed higher relative to previous week. However, the week's candle has an upper tail and the body is also solid. The candle color is remaining yellow that is neutral. In the daily chart price is continuing its up move so long as gold is able to stay above the memory support trend lines we will have a bullish view on gold. On Friday price closed close to the upper boundary level. There is no low risk swing long trade entry opportunity in gold right now. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. We are looking at NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index 
both using weekly charts because this analysis is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions you may use it for swing trading also but not for day trading both nasdaq and nyse are continuing to recover for many weeks now however over longer term both of them are continuing to be in downtrend the downtrend will be broken once nyse can break above this memory resistance line in terms of the internals the market was bullish this week new high low is gradually going up up down volume for nasdaq also increased the other three internals advance decline for nasdaq and nyse and up down volume for nyse they declined but all of them closed above zero all the six internals closed above zero three of them went up the internals are bullish as the market has gone up for so many weeks without any pullback it is becoming more and more difficult to find low risk buying opportunities that is stocks that are not overbought yet still using q360 degrees analysis you may find some low risk buying opportunities we'll have a look at that but before that let's have a look at the market etfs s&p 500 etf spy in the weekly chart it is going up almost in a straight line this week's candle color and shape both are bullish and it closed above the weekly memory resistance line the same strength is displayed in the daily chart it is going up without any significant pullback price is being supported by multiple memory trend line support price is above the upper boundary level it is overbought in the daily chart as well as in the weekly chart market is clearly bullish until this memory trend line support is broken we will continue to have bullish view on the market nasdaq etf qqq in the weekly chart it is going up this week's candle color and shape both are bullish in the daily chart you can see last couple of days price is moving practically sideways the relative performance line is tilting down showing that nasdaq is underperforming s&p 500 still because the weekly backdrop candle color and shape both are bullish we'll say nasdaq is also bullish though it is weaker than s&p 500 like spy qqq is also overbought in the daily as well as in the weekly chart dow jones industrials etf dia the chart is very similar to s&p 500 in the weekly chart it is going up almost in a straight line in the daily chart price is supported by multiple memory trend line support price is above the upper boundary level both daily and weekly are overbought russell 2000 etf iwm this is the strongest of the four etfs at present the relative performance is showing that it is outperforming the market this week's candle color and shape both are bullish in the daily chart price is well above the upper boundary level price is being supported by memory trend line support in the daily chart daily as well as weekly are overbought both from the market breadth as well as from the market etf analysis you can see that the market is bullish there is no doubt about that however it is overbought at the same time under such a situation there is not much scope of shorting stocks there are not many easy shorting opportunities you may look for buying opportunities however 
be careful not to buy stocks which are already overbought. How to find such opportunities? You can always find such opportunities using either top down or bottom up analysis using Q systems. One month sector performance. We are looking at the 11 sectors and analyzing them across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of last five days. Green bar performance of five days prior to that. And the blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bar days. Together they represent one month of sector performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up. Any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week all the bars came to the right of the zero line showing all the sectors went up showing a bullish picture at the sector level. Financials became the second best performer this week. Using real-time sector rotation, you could take a long position in financial stocks that ended in a profit. I had discussed regional banks in one of the webinars last week. 20 regional bank stocks went up by more than 5% this week and 52 went up by more than 4%. Looking at the sector rotation in real time, drilling down into the financial industries, you could probably locate some fundamentally strong stocks and buy them well ahead of others, probably booking some profit by Friday. Energy also gained this week. After the previous week's sharp reversal, energy sector continued to go up. However, this week it is the second most decelerating sector and you may not find many low risk buying opportunities. This is what happens when a sector is decelerating. You may not find low risk buy opportunities when a sector is decelerating. However, there may be few opportunities still available in this sector. I will discuss two energy stocks near possible buy point in the Monday morning market meeting live webinar. This is another view of the sector performance, studying them over five days and over one day periods. Over five days, all the 11 sectors went up. On Friday, 10 sectors went up, only one went down. Which one went down? That was consumer staples. Over one day period, only consumer staples declined and that was driven by the huge 27.4% drop in KHC, Kraft Heinz company, after earnings results came out. Such a significant drop may lead to a lookout for value buying. However, price drop doesn't necessarily mean that a stock is a value stock. You can identify value stocks from Q Vital stock scorecard that will show that KHC is not a value stock yet. In Q Vital scorecard, it is shown as medium value stocks. Its valuation is in yellow color, not optimal, not in cyan color. Also, the Q technical charts are not showing any nearby memory or watermark support level from where the price may reverse. Based on that Q analysis, you may not hurry into buying KHC even though the stock fell significantly. I will look at KHC's fundamentals and technicals in more detail in the Monday morning meeting. Q edge sector scorecard and heat map. Here you can see the 11 sectors analyzed over 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods, 10 days, 5 days, etc. Cyan represents strength and magenta represents weakness. You may look at the scores but looking at the colors may be enough. Looking at the 5 days score, you can see 
this week materials and financials are the strongest sectors consumer staples and real estates are the weakest sectors the pair of numbers below the five day column header shows that all the sectors went up therefore though consumer staples and real estate are relatively weaker they also went up this week what about the pace column it shows which sectors are accelerating and decelerating acceleration is shown by cyan color deceleration is shown by magenta color financials and utilities are the most accelerating sectors and consumer staples and healthcare are the most decelerating sectors looking at this sector scorecard and heat map you may look for buying opportunities in materials and financials based on strength or in financials and utilities based on acceleration if you are looking for shorting opportunities you may start to look for them in consumer staples and real estate based on weakness and in healthcare and consumer staples based in deceleration that is the decision you can take from the sector level however sector level is quite broad to make more accurate trading decision you may drill down into the industry level and look for buying opportunities in strong industries and shorting opportunities in weak industries best performing industries we are looking at the 10 best performing industries of this week looking at their 5 days and 10 day scores in q360 degrees technique you look for buying opportunities from these most robust industries and avoid shorting auto parts and equipment is one of the best performers in this industry sup is a value stock it went up by a massive 33 percent in this week in last five days it came out of a squeeze and broke out of watermark resistance it broke out of a base created in the daily chart the stock is currently overbought you may watch this stock for a low risk buying opportunities next earning is on 11th march industry scorecard using q edge like q edge analyzes the 11 sectors it analyzes hundreds of industries the strong industries are displayed by cyan color in five days column auto parts and equipment is one of them looking to the right you can see it used to be weak earlier the score was in magenta color and now the score has turned cyan looking at this changing heat map color you could look for buying opportunities in auto parts and equipment stocks one way to look for such buying opportunities is in value stocks in q vital stock scorecard value stocks are shown by cyan color score under valuation column you can instantly see that sup is a value stock it has the best possible score of 100 however you may just look at the cyan color to decide if it is a value stock or not it has a nice revenue growth in last three quarters though the earnings growth is negative that is fine we don't expect both good valuation and strong earnings growth at the same time it also pays a nice dividend of 5.4 percent in last five days the stock went up by 33 percent it is probably a bit overbought in the daily chart if you didn't buy the stock already at the bottom and there were some q technical signals that you could use to take at least a small position in the stock last week if you took that position you are having significant profit already if you didn't take a position last week you may wait for it to pull back little bit 
and give a low risk buying opportunity. SUP using the weekly daily at a glance template. Interestingly, the stock dropped heavily after displaying a bearish headwind in the weekly chart. It dropped for many weeks, then the backdrop candle color turned yellow. After that, it displayed a bull release signal and since then, the backdrop candle color has remained bullish, cyan. One week ago, it displayed another bull release signal and since then, price strongly went up. In the daily chart, it created a kind of double bottom when it displayed the bull release signal on this day and since then price is gradually going up. Could you try to buy the stock at least take a partial position in the stock using Q signals? You could do that. You can see for a long time there was no bullish pressure in the stock for many many days. And then on this day, price went up strongly and displayed a bullish pressure. The stock is a value stock. Looking at the bullish pressure, you could take a small position at least in the stock on this week, Tuesday. If you did that, you are already in a big profit. On Friday, price closed above the yellow direction line. It is above the upper boundary now and the price is overbought. Therefore, if you didn't already take a long position, you may wait for the price to pull back little bit to give a low risk entry point. If you took a position, you may continue to hold it. You could also book partial profit because probably more than the risk distance in the trade has already been covered by the stock's up move. Everything seems to be bullish for SUP. The earnings is some distance away. You may continue to hold your existing long position and look for adding to the position or you may also look to take a new position if you didn't take it last week. Like you will look for buying opportunities in strong industries you will look for shorting opportunities in the weak industries. These are 10 of the worst performing industries this week. You saw earlier that healthcare is the most decelerating sector. Healthcare services is in that sector. It is one of the worst performing industries this week. In this industry, BIT is overvalued. It dropped by 9.4% on Friday after displaying a go with flow short trade setup in the daily chart on Thursday. At the same time in the weekly, it was forming a false upside breakout at a watermark resistance level. Looking at the false upside breakout in the weekly chart and the go with flow short trade setup in the daily chart, you could take a short trade on Thursday and profit handsomely from that trade. In the same industry, healthcare services, DPLO dropped by more than 56% on Friday. It opened with a gap down and continued to move lower, which resulted in a very profitable gap short day trade. You could take these two trades looking at the industry's weakness, the deceleration of the sector, the technical trade setup in Q charts and also fundamental weakness of these stocks either in terms of valuation or in terms of growth. Let's look at the industry using Q edge. Healthcare services is one of the weakest industries this week. The weak industries are shown by magenta color under 5 days column. Looking to the right, you can see that earlier, quite a while ago, it used to be strong industry with score in cyan color, but now it is 
one of the weakest industries. Looking at that, you will look for only short opportunities in this industry and avoid taking long trades. What kind of stocks will you use for shorting? You will use stocks that are either overvalued, stocks with valuation score in magenta color like bid, or you will look for reducing earnings growth. The earnings growth in the latest quarter in red color like in case of DPLO. Both BID and DPLO are in a weak industry and they are weak either in terms of valuation or in terms of growth. Both of these stocks dropped significantly over last five days. BID dropped by 12.6% and DPLO fell by more than 57%. On Friday itself, bid fell by 9.4% and DPLO fell by more than 56%. Bid using at a glance template. In the daily chart, it created a lower high and then displayed a magenta flow color candle. That was a signal for a go with flow short trade setup in the daily chart. At the same time, in the weekly, it tried to go above the watermark resistance level but closed below that. Looking at that, you could take a short trade on this day, put stop just above recent high, which would be above this memory resistance line. That was Thursday. On Friday, the stock dropped sharply. Your initial profit target would be at the lower boundary. The stock did hit the lower boundary level on Friday and at that point the profit was about 14%. If you didn't book profit at the lower boundary, on a closing basis the trade gave more than 9.4% profit in a single day. DPLO, the second stock in the same industry. In the weekly chart, as well as in the daily chart, it was moving in a narrow range. It was inside a triangle pattern in the daily chart. Looking at that, you wouldn't take any short trade in the stock until it broke out. Which happened on Friday, it opened with a huge gap down and then continued to move lower. Looking at the large gap, and the weakness of the stock in terms of fundamentals, its earning came out negative. The industry was weak, the sector was weak. You could switch to the intraday fine tune chart and look for a gap day trade setup. DPLO using 5 minute chart, the intraday fine tune template. On Friday, price open at this point far below previous day's low, the red pivot line, that was a gap down open. Soon after that, the early range high and early range low lines formed and after a while, price went below early range low. That was a signal for a gap short day trade. Stop would be just above recent high, which was never approached. Instead, the stock continued to fall heavily giving a very high profit gap short day trade. Accelerating industries. This may be behind others but are gaining momentum fast. These industries often give low risk buying opportunities at the bottom just as the stocks start to recover after a price decline. Use of financials is the second most accelerating sector this week and regional bank is one of the accelerating industries in that sector. It is not one of the 10 most accelerating industries that is why it is not coming in this graph. However, it is one of the accelerating industries and you can find that out from QH industry scorecard. This industry has 9 value stocks 
that are also showing improving earnings growth at the same time. Value stock with improving earnings growth in an accelerating industry. You would look for technical buy points in these stocks. I found one, the stock BPFH, which also gives a 4% dividend, signal a go with flow trend following long setup on Friday. Earlier on 20th December, the daily bullish headwind signal, the unique Q reversal signal could catch the very bottom of this stock. Back to industry scorecard. Here the accelerating industries are shown by cyan color under paste column. Regional banks is one of the most accelerating industries. You can see its score is not the best yet, not in full cyan color, but its strength is improving and that is shown by acceleration in the base column. If you look at the stock scorecard, you will find a lot of regional banks. The industry was weak earlier and now strengthening. Therefore, one way to look for stocks is to look for value stocks. In the Q stock scorecard, you can find the value stocks by clicking this fully charged battery icon that will show all the value stocks in the regional banks industry. There are many. Let me try to shorten the list with stocks that are also displaying improving earnings growth in the last quarter. You can filter for those stocks by clicking this thumbs up button. That will show the stocks that are value stocks and are also having improving earnings growth in the last quarter. BPFH is one of them value stock with improving earnings growth. Earnings growth going up from minus 22% to 13% to 18% in last three quarters. It also pays a dividend of almost 4%. Value stock improving earnings growth good dividend in an industry that is accelerating. The last step using Q360 degrees technique would be to look for a low risk buy setup on technical charts. And that buy setup came on Friday when the stock BPFH displayed a cyan color candle in the daily chart. The stock was already in an uptrend going up with higher lows and higher highs and price was also supported by a memory trend line support. In the weekly, the candle color and shape both are bullish. Therefore, Friday, we had a go with flow long trade setup. You could buy the stock at the close of the market on Friday. If you look back, you will see that there were go with flow long trade setups earlier also on this cyan color candle for example and again on this cyan color candle. You could take buy position in the stock on those days as well. Looking further back you can see that right at the very bottom this stock displayed a bullish headwind signal the possible reversal signal that we have in Q systems and that could accurately predict the reversal of the stock. Decelerating industries, these were stronger earlier and now they are losing momentum. You will look for shorting opportunities in these industries. Decelerating industries alert you when to book profit in existing long positions and when to start looking for bearish setups at the very top. The market is very bullish, therefore, if you are taking any short trades, you may be selecting them carefully. Footwear is one of the decelerating industries. In this industry, only one stock, Nike NKE, is overvalued. It is near weekly watermark resistance created by an earlier bearish headwind that came in September 2018. NKE has next earning due on 21st March. It is near watermark resistance in weekly and it is in a 
decelerating industry. If you have a long position, you may be cautious, you may protect profit or hedge the position using put options. Also, you may look for a low risk shorting opportunity in the coming days, though there is no short setup right now. I will discuss footwear industry and Nike in particular in more detail in our Monday morning market meetup. Those were the regular topics. Before I end, let me summarize. The market is clearly bullish. We can see that from the market breadth study as well as from the market ETF study. Market ETFs are very bullish, but they are also overbought not only in the daily chart, but in the weekly chart as well. Under such a situation, it is better to avoid shorting and you may look for buying opportunities, but not in stocks that are overvalued. Using Q360 degrees analysis, you are always able to find such trades. Right now, you could find good buying opportunities in banking industry, for example. I will analyze more live stocks and look for buying or shorting opportunities in the Monday morning meeting. That is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in the next session and also in the Monday morning meeting webinar. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.